I actually really enjoy the very beginning stages of the visual design process, kind of like taking taking research and taking, you know, initial tests and user interviews, things like that, and translating that into low fidelity designs and like being able to um, begin like building a foundation for for designs and, and solutions. Um, I like that kind of that initial translation. I think is something that I have really enjoyed doing um, pretty much throughout each of the projects I've been on. I've gotten the opportunity to to be a part of that. Yeah, so my very first capstone project um, was called Boiled Down. And so the idea of that app, um, it, it was an app, <laughs> I'm a mobile app um, on iOS. And the idea was that it was a gamified mobile app in kind of the style of Duolingo that was intended to help people learn how to cook and really just learn the foundations, go through um, different activities, challenges, and just have kind of a Basically, like the home cook's handbook is like the little tagline I wanted to pin to that. I started with the, you know, problem. There are so many people who feel like they can't cook or just don't like to cook. You know, that was a truly end to end project that it began with, you know, defining that problem, figuring out what exactly that problem was, um, moving through all of that research and into actual visual design and prototyping. But yeah, it was it was a really fun project and it really being my first project, it really, I learned so much and it took several months um, to do because there was so much to learn, not only design principles and best practices, but also all the design tools. So there was a lot of learning and definitely learning curve with some tools I'd never used before, like Figma and Sketch. It was all something that I, I really enjoyed learning and I love learning and especially these tools that they're so cool when you learn a new feature or how to do a new animation or something like that. It's it's so fun. It's it's also just so gratifying. Thank you.